Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Blow the Belt. I want to talk about Danny Garcia and uh, about Bob Aaron sending a contract to him and they never responded back to him. And this is not the, I don't know, this is the first or the second time. It seemed like this is the second time that Bob Aaron reached out to him and, and, um, and they didn't get no response. But the first time they did get a response, but it wasn't a response that Bob Aaron wanted. It was, uh, Denny Garcia said that if it's not, um, um, he said something like, uh, if Al Hammond and, um, if Al Hammond didn't negotiate with them and stuff like that, it's not a real contract, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking the two at the same time, it was a, a contract that was not a lot of money to. I'm thinking that, uh, that's why Denny Garcia said what he said the first time that Bob Aaron reached out to him. But I think, uh, this is the second time, uh, Bob Aaron reached out to him. And I don't know how much money they was going to offer him, offer, uh, Denny Garcia to fight, uh, Terrence Crawford. And, uh, I think it was, it was no response. And, you know, you know, for Denny Garcia, which he's still looking for a fight. He don't know who to fight right now because at the same time, he don't have a belt. You know what I'm saying? He seemed like, to, to, to me, he seemed like he's in the same situation as uh, Mikey Garcia. I mean, as in, like, he don't know who to, who his next opponent going to be. And, you know, and, and he's trying to wait for uh, uh, Sean, Sean Porter versus uh, Earl Spence. And uh, Mike Garcia, uh, like, he's going to. Look like he might not fight at 147. Like he might fight at 100. Um, the weight division uh, under under him might be 140. But um, that's what it seems like right now. But he is seeing Mikey Garcia contract, but don't don't want to send uh, don't want to respond to uh, Bar Bob Aaron sending him a contract to fight Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? But you want to fight a, a person uh, uh, under you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? But I understand that Mike Garcia fought Earl Spence. Earl Spence fought a, a little guy, a, a, a guy uh, who's uh, who's uh, uh, who's little than him. But Mike Garcia wanted to fight, and uh, it wasn't like he was asking for the fight. I can see if Earl Spence asked for the fight and wanted to fight him, it would be different. But Mike, it was reversed. It was Mike Garcia asked for the fight, and then he fought him. And of course, it was you know I guess they made a uh, the most money ever. Uh, uh, then all the fights that they co combine fighting, or I, not, I ain't saying I'm not gonna say combine, but the most money ever fight e each other. You know what I'm saying? Because Mike Garcia, I really feel like he believed that he can beat Earl Spence, but it was a, but Earl Spence showed him that, that, that you know, uh, that this is not what you really wanted. You know what I'm saying? And, and you should never took the fight. But at the same time, he took it. And I, I give uh, Mike Garcia credit, but it was stupid. But this is not, not this, I'm not to focus on Mike Garcia, but this is on Danny Garcia. But you were seeing Mike Garcia contract Danny Garcia, and but you don't want to respond back to Bob Aaron. But that that shows you right there that you know, so that shows you right there that Danny Garcia uh, don't want to fight Terrence Crawford, and this. Oh, this uh, and like you, he don't have a belt. So I would think that that fight between them two will be easily made. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can see it was a belt involved, and and he was the top person in PBC. But you know, I'm mean, the top person to be PBC. You looking for a fight? You should want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? But I guess he don't want to get a second or I think a a, a third loss, whatever, or a second or a third loss, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I can understand that, but at the same time, man, you gonna always be. I think you'll be. He'll be relevant. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, you know, um, it's just it's it's just man being it's just being man um, picky and scared and stuff like that, man. That's what it seemed like to me that what Danny Garcia is doing right now. He's being carefully what he's he's doing, which I, I don't mind that him. him, him He'll fight Mikey Garcia. That's re the reason why he he want to fight Mikey Garcia because he think he could beat him. And it's a possibility he can't beat uh, Mike Garcia. But Mike Garcia didn't accept it and did not not respond back to his contract. So I guess what goes around comes around, or comes around goes around. Whatever what they say, you know what I'm saying. So I don't know who he gonna fight to get really. I mean, the way he be uh, floating on Instagram, just like Floyd Mayweather, he's all about the money. I mean, most fighters. It's about the money. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Uh who are you gonna fight, Danny Garcia? Sean Porter, he's take he's uh 
he's uh, booked. Uh, Manny Pacquiao uh, finished fighting um, uh, Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is uh, it's not going to be fighting this time. Uh, he, he got his one loss, and and he ain't going to be fighting this time. Uh, uh, he ain't going to be fighting uh, this this year. His, his, his last fight was Manny Pacquiao right now. And Manny Pacquiao, I, I ain't I don't hear. I think he'll fight Manny Pacquiao. I don't know. I don't know that Manny Pacquiao, and Danny Garcia will, will get made, but that'd be a good. I, I think that probably be an interesting matchup. But but Manny Pacquiao's not entertaining him at all. You know what I'm saying? He's not even talking about him. So everybody talking about the Manny Pacquiao might pick Mikey Garcia. That might be a good uh, matchup too at the same time. So but. Uh, Mike Garcia don't got no belt either, but he just Mexican descent, and then uh, of course Danny Garcia is Puerto Rican descent. So, you know, you always get a, a black and Puerto Rican or black uh, Mexican or Mexican or Puerto Rican it, it, it sale. You know, say, but it depends on who who the people who who who's the boxers, who's the fighters. At the same time, I don't care. You can get a, a average Puerto Rican or average black uh, American fighter, and it, it depends if you don't got a name, you ain't gonna sell. But at the same time, man, uh, you know, uh, I don't think Bob Aaron is lying about this. He don't have no reason to lie. He just trying to give. Uh, he know Danny Garcia draws draws a crowd, and if, and especially if you go if you fight in the Barclays Center, and it's a lot of Puerto Ricans in New York. You know what I'm saying? So that definitely that definitely uh, do better than um, him and Mira Khan and and that, uh, uh, Victor Postal. You know what I'm saying? Fight. So that's why he won Danny Garcia, and then and then, and Danny Garcia is still a good fighter. He's not washed up. He's not down the hill. And the two fights that he fought, it was close fights. It could have went either way. You see what I'm saying? So Keith Thurman and Sean Porter. So um, the thing about it is, man, I I think uh, like I said, Danny Garcia is washed now. He just don't want to get a, a a third loss. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he don't want to you know suffer that, and you know what I'm saying then he got to go. He got to go. Um, Shrewny back back, uh, back in the line and stuff like that, and uh, and, and, and somewhat start all over again. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what loss do to you, and when you get a back to back loss to it on top of that. But I think to me it depends on how you lost to it at the same time. I mean, he didn't get knocked out. He didn't get he didn't get dominated. It was a close fight. So then he got see it's not out. You know he's still there. So but he said he don't have a belt. And uh, he's trying to, he, he's going out, he's going out for the money fight. And I think, I don't know, I'll, I don't know, for me, I think if uh, Earl Spence uh, beat, uh, if he beats Sean Porter, he get past Sean Porter, I think he should go after um, um, Terrence Crawford or uh, Manny Pacquiao because they got the belts. But he might go after Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia might go after him. We, we got to see. But I remember what uh, Earl Spence said, when, when I'm fighting, people call me out. But when I'm finished fighting or beating the person or winning the fight, then they don't call me out no more. So we're going to see. But I, this is for Danny Garcia, man. Like, man, if, uh, I mean, uh, I, I don't see, I don't see, uh, I mean, I see why he don't want to, because he don't want to get a third loss. But at the same time, Hey man, that's up on you. What you want to do, man, for your career? So you know what I'm saying? Because everybody talking about he 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 um, he uh, ducked Victor Postal. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Which you know uh, no, he ain't saying nothing about that. Chance Crawford stepped in and beat him. So beat Victor Postal. So what y'all think about Danny Garcia sending uh, not responding back to Bob Aaron contract? Because I'm a, at first I said something about that. I was like, I agree with uh, Danny Garcia. Like it wasn't a duck; it was just it wasn't a real contract. That's what I thought. But now it seems like he's ducking uh, Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what y'all think? Uh, leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the notification bell for new videos from me. This is JT from Bubble Low Bill. Bye bye.